Welcome, this is Prime Update on Ben Television. My name is Ujinika. Amadi news trending in Africa today. The police in Rivers, South of Nigeria, on Thursday disrupted a seating of the River State House of Assembly, who were holding plenary for the first time since July when the House was sealed. 25 of the 26 members of the House loyal to embattled Governor Rutimia Mechi had confessed in the Assembly earlier today to sit in compliance with a High Court order barring the National Assembly from taking over the functions of the Assembly. But as the lawmakers tried to gain entry, the police quickly descended on the assembly and sealed off the complex. The lawmakers then decided to hold their seating outside the complex. But the police suddenly began shooting tear gas and life ammunition at the lawmakers who quickly took to their heels, scampering for safety. Nigeria's Minister of Information, Labron Maku, has said a solution to the high cost of kerosene and all the petroleum product scarcity in Nigeria can only be achieved by privatizing of the petroleum industry. The minister said this in Kaduna when he led members of the Good Governance Team to the Kaduna Refinery and Petrochemical Company, KRPC. Labyrinth Marco said that what Nigerians are experiencing today is as a result of the greediness of some oil marketers who collect subsidy from the government and still sell the product at ridiculous prices in the market. If the environment is right and you have the regulated sector, any business can be a player. They may decide to say, look, we are not selling our refineries, we will buy them and we will also, you know, refuel the fuel and sell as a public uh, quoted company. So, already the difference between government price and the market price, government pays to them. That's not the situation. So government already pays to them the difference. Then they go to the market. They, instead of selling 15 naira, they take the subsidy in their pocket and take 17 naira open each liter of kerosene. And then you say we should not regulate. So all this money is lost to the economy, it's lost to government, it's lost from their own pockets. But this is the problem. And there is no rule you will bring that will change the mentality of Nigeria. The group managing director of NMPC, engineer Andrew Yakubu, said the NMPC is doing everything possible to make sure that a product is made available for the average Nigerian at all times. We need to ensure that the supply requirements are met. We started with about 8 million liters per day and we jacked it up to 10. We are also aware that there are so many other competing needs uh, for the kerosene. As you are aware, the same kerosene is used as aviation fuel. The same kerosene is used for road construction. So call on all the distribution agencies to ensure that the effort of government is complemented by making sure that this uh, kerosene reaches the common man. Egyptian riots police fired tear gas and water cannon to disperse hundreds of pro-Islamist protesters demonstrating near the headquarters of the Ministry of Defense in Cairo on Thursday. Egypt has been witnessing almost daily protests by supporters of elected Islamic President Mohamed Morsi since the army removed him in July after mass protests against his rule. The removal of Morsi opened the bloodiest chapter in Egypt's modern history. Security forces have since killed hundreds of his supporters while some 200 soldiers and policemen have died. Many in attacks by Islamist militants in the Sinai Peninsula bordering Israel and the Palestinian Gaza Strip. Thousands of people have sought refuge in makeshift camps around the capital of Bangui as humanitarian crisis is looming in the Central African Republic following waves of sectarian violence between Muslims and Christians. The focus is shifting to conditions in the makeshift camps, with the humanitarian workers raising fears of cholera and other diseases spreading. Eight workers said a fraction of Bangui's estimated 800,000 residents remained in the city, with many of the homeless taking shelter near French military base and in other areas considered safer. Meanwhile, the United States has begun airlifting troops from Burundi to Central African Republic, to help those already deployed to secure the country. The Burundian troops who joined the peacekeeping forces, who have struggled to contain the sectoral violence that has killed over 500 people in the past week. That's the much we can take on this edition of Prime Update. Thank you for watching. My name is Ojini Kamadi. Bye for now.